think he's supposed to be running those here, man. It says on the sign, no motorized vehicles in the skate park. The cops will come over and kick you out. No, I get it. No, it, the, thing, the thing is, though, right? This is the difference. He's got kids. And, but he's just misinformed about stuff, that's all. And it's no big deal. So anyways, I just wanted to get a shot of this. And I've talked about it before to where when it's a skate park, the skate park is for skaters. So if skaters showed up, you should kind of get out. And I kind of did push that, but you can see right there, there is nothing that says anything about Alright, so this is OC Guy Garage and Son still. Right now he's gonna be ripping up his big rock. Skate park is obviously getting a little bit more active. But um, I've got the uh, no cast out. I call it the no cast because I seem to keep calling it an outcast because in reality that's kind of what it is. It's the fact that, you know, Arma didn't give us a, um, originally didn't give us a 6S outcast. They decided to go ahead and EXB it. So this is the Arma Notorious. I'm gonna take this thing out. We are at the skate park. See what this thing can do. More like see what I can do with it. <laughs> oh, I hear some big rock collisions. All right, what side is the switch off? Right there. Looks like my steering trim is a little off. All right, we gotta pick a spot so we're not in his way. I'm gonna go down in there. Clean up our stuff. Share the pot. In short, Time is definitely running short. Oh, hey, stick. <coughs> I'm gonna put my stuff over here at this edge. <laughs> Upside down, nice.
Oh, are you? I don't think he's supposed to be running those here, man. I don't think he's supposed to be running those here, man. Really? It says on the sign, no motorized vehicles in the skate park. The cops will come over and kick you out. Does it really? Absolutely. Crap, I didn't even see that. I, like I super frowned upon in the skateboarding community. There's going to be guys who are going to lose their shit on Oh, them. man. That sucks. Yeah, I get that out of here. Yeah, I get that out of here. He says there's no motorized vehicles over here. Well, I guess six o'clock is the is the time we gotta be here. <laughs> Kicked out. Kicked out. What does it say? Motorized vehicles. Okay. Skateboarders, beverages. No. Yeah, okay, and then it also says only one skateboarder is permitted on a board end. Where does it say the uh, motorized vehicles? Am I blind? No outside, no, no. Do you see no motorized vehicles? Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. How's it going? Good, how are you? My name is Tim, by the way. Tommy. So just so you know, I did check the rules. Nothing about motorized vehicles. Well, I know the kid who comes in with his mini bike, pops come over all the time. Right, I could definitely out. understand a mini bike. So we're gonna take off anyway. Cool. But usually we show up like really early so that we don't disturb the actual people that are here to use this park. So I figured just because you said something, we're gonna take off anyway, because it's the right thing to do. Right on, I appreciate that. But the, in the skateboarding community, right? like this isn't for that. Like we, we come here, like we've all been skating for like 40 years. Right. We come here because this place is at like 9.30, this place is loaded oh, with right. scooter kids. Right, which you'll see us not here and at that time. we all live down here, right. you know? And it's just like- Yeah, my son up, only lives at Dana Road, which is a We show up in the morning, there's like people here with like, dirt bikes and well stuff like BMX. that yeah People that's that's foolish and, they race and whatever and then yeah there's no see we use the whole park you know yep. we go around and we dip in here and we come all around right. it's like right to share it with like a 60 pound vehicle while my kids are zipping around with us like it's it's just it's not it's right not and i know and i know that you you might be just a little bit misinformed because it's not 60 pounds we're also very cautious with what we do yeah. if you see we stay localized to just a little Google bit a little it. corner just go go look and see what people think about people who you know it's just it's this isn't for that you yeah know what i mean yeah which you is know, why i said with a dirt bike like doing jumps one time cops came right that's over. different that's absolutely well, different when you get an idiot like that that's that's bad well, but when you have somebody that's like me and my son that's respectful there was a guy here the other day who had one what you had and right. the cops came over and took, told him to leave was he here when there were kids here or was it when it was vacant because like I was Obviously saying, it had six to be o'clock. Here who called on him. Right. So but like so I was if, saying, if you're here by yourself, unless it's those guys, if you're here and the place is empty, yeah, I say friggin' go for it. Right. Bro. Right. But if there's people here, like the minute someone comes to skate, you're like separating them from where you're gonna be, and in like there's a real etiquette with skateboarding. Like that guy could be skating over here. Right. This guy could be skating over here. Right. And we're all looking at each other because we're all taking runs. Did you get a bad impression when you saw me in the skate park with the car? 
No, I, I haven't skated for 40 years. I just saw the thing. I was like, yeah, no. Like, <laughs> so you did. You, you had the, you well, were like, did, oh, I'm going like, to get this guy I, out of here. No, I'm just like, I'm going to tell you because there's probably going to be a bunch of other skaters who aren't going to be as kind as I am. Right. You know what I mean? They're going to be, you know. Well, the same thing with me. They're not going to be as kind as I am. And like, like, I'm no. recognizing the fact that when it gets but, when it gets busy like that, I shouldn't be here because, just right. like what you said. Well, you said you've when got there's a, no people you, here. Right. You've got a skateboard. There were already people here when I got here. Right. So that contradicts what you just said. I, I guess, right. You know what I'm saying? So the right. minute a skater shows up, it yeah. should be game over. Right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, buddy. Yep, Appreciate no problem. It. And I own a skate shop in town, too, so right. I mean, it's not like I'm being a dick. No, no one's saying that you are, which is why I came over to you to say what I said. You just say, hey, I did notice that it doesn't say anything about motorized vehicles. And when you put me in the category of like a mini bike or a dirt bike launching off of ramps and stuff like that, I mean, there's I, a giant I, dirt track over there with like 50 foot jumps. Where? Right across the street. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, it's the bicycle thing. It's I don't the, know if you can get in there either. Go check that out. What's I mean, it like it's a like, BMX track? It's, it's a giant BMX. It's You're like literally Olympic, across the street. It's literally down the street. Okay. Giant BMX track like, okay. with jumps like bigger I, than you get, could. Thank you for saying that because I'd rather go over there with dirt because I mean, you, you got to know. I mean, I would take those well, things think about over it. there. Think about it. You got to know. Well, yeah, but that's gated. Do you know what I mean? And it says... Like, doesn't say no trespassing, but it's a locked gate. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm not going to go, yeah. you know, beyond that. But, um, yeah, well, listen, crap, look, I would definitely dude, be happier. My little guy's in got dirt. one, too. Well, they both RC? have them. Yeah. <laughs> we, they all have RC cars that go, like, 80 I got a YouTube channel, RC Guy Garage, if you ever want to check it out. We don't with us, ever. See that right there? Yeah. No, that's I, my, that's I my YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, I you can see it. I'm just a regular guy. I get it, man. I get all right, man. You're just a regular guy? Just a regular guy, man. Who, me? Yeah. Well, I can skate, really. All right, have fun. We'll see ya. Yeah, he's from Worcester. Yeah. Worcester. <laughs> Worcester. No, I get it. No, it, the thing read. the thing is though, right? This is the difference. He's got kids and but he's just misinformed about stuff, that's all. And it's no big deal. So anyways, I just wanted to get a shot of this. And I've talked about it before to where when it's a skate park, the skate park is for skaters. So if skaters showed up, you should kind of get out. And I kind of did push that, but you can see right there, there is nothing that says anything about um, motorized vehicles, which I can get his point. When you're talking about like a dirt bike or you talk about a mini bike or something like that, that definitely makes sense. But calling these cars 60 pound vehicles, it's just that misinformed kind of thing. So anyways, this is RC Guy Garage and I'm out of here. So this is what I want to know. Um, I kind of want to get a gauge or an opinion from subscribers or anybody that watches this video. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> but anyways, um, I do want to get a gauge of, do you think that I handled that situation in the appropriate way? I want to say that I did because the whole thing about all of this, like I've said before, the skate parks are exactly for that. It's called a skate park, not an RC track or an RC park. But do I believe that I should be able to use it? Well, yeah, just like how skaters that are respectful want to be able to ride their skateboards on boardwalks. And I get that skaters have been for years kicked out of places like that, but there is also that saying that sharing is caring. I, I do feel that I handled that the right way. Um, I, I couldn't let it go. Like I couldn't just, you know, walk away with like a, uh, what do you call it? I couldn't just walk away with my uh, tail tucked between my legs or, or whatever people want to look at it as. And it had nothing to do with recording, had nothing to do with being a tough guy or a hard guy. Um, it was basically just kind of informing him you know, and then he said, you know, later that, you know, his two kids have RCs that go 80 miles an hour. My little guy's In got dirt. one too. Well, they both RC? have them. Yeah. <laughs> we, they all have RC cars that go like 80 I got a miles YouTube. an hour. So, I mean, I think he gets it. I don't know what RCs he's got that his kids have that go 80 miles an hour, but it's, it's the whole thing is to be respectful, to have try, or at least try to have an open dialogue or a conversation or whatever. I know, I just said dialogue, I'm using a big word. And I don't usually use big words. Now this guy also said that he's got a skate shop that's local, so 
I'm going to search out to find this guy's skate shop so I can go in and check out his skate shop and maybe kind of continue the conversation if he feels inclined. You could tell that there were certain instances when he was like, you know, I, I don't need to listen to this guy, you know, type of thing. And that's what happens because sometimes you know how kind of like guys can be sometimes. Either guys can be cool or guys can be total pricks. It's just, it is what it is. I'm not saying in any way that he was a prick. I do know that he had an institute. I do call it an institute uh, when he saw us there, and I get it. Um, uh, I get it. I really do. I do get it. But you also need to understand that as long as there's a certain amount of respect, when you're categorizing me with like a dirt bike or a mini bike, and, and I just, I don't know, man, that, that kind of set me off a little bit. It was just... You know, it wasn't like I had my, you know, quarter-scale jackrabbit, you know, running around in the skate park, you know, with, with gas. So it's just, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Other than how do you feel I handled the situation? And in all honesty, what is your opinion? Now, this guy said, you know, we live around here, the whole thing. I'm not sure what that had to do with anything. I, I live around here too, or should I say my son lives like five minutes down the road. So it's like, he lives around here too. So, and, and when we show up, we show up at like six, 6.30 in the morning because we goddamn know that, you know, kids aren't gonna be there or a lot of people aren't gonna be there. Now, in the past, I don't even know if I've recorded it, but in the past, I've actually asked is okay that if we're here and the skaters are usually super cool but this one guy and I think because he had his kids there and maybe he had a bad impression or I just I don't know man it just started to remind me of that same situation where and I, again I'm not calling him a Karen I'm not calling him a Ken but he kind of did have that little bit of a of a tood but I think in the end I think things were more ironed out. I think I was able to more diffuse possibly what was in his head, thinking, you know, maybe a possible, uh, possible negativity or a possible negativity or, or, or whatever it was. And, and, and that's the whole thing, man. The whole thing is to, you know, share and share in the right way. Uh, I believe it or not, you're not in my head you're not in my body. So, I kind of was starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable when he showed up only because it had nothing to do with the fact that he said something, but I saw that he had two little kids. And then in my mind, I thought to myself, if you look and how I was scanning and I'm looking to see where he is, I wanted to see like, you know, where people are localized. I always try to say, you know, or I always try to stay like in my own little like little piece. If nobody's in that big section, you know, that I call it a drop in inside that that thing, I'll go in there and I'll mess around in there while everybody else is skating on the outside. And as soon as I notice someone wants to come in, we'll usually pop out. And that's normally when there's only a couple of people there. And like I said, you're not in my head. I did start to feel like, okay, and I think I said time's running short or something like that. Clean up our stuff. Share the pot. In short. Time is definitely running short. I'm pretty sure I said time is running short. And to be honest with you, we were going to leave. And when we did leave, we did go directly across the street. There is a BMX track there, but the BMX track is gated and I don't hop gates because it's I, I would ask permission but I don't hop gates no, I mean so. I would take those well, things think about over it. there think about it you gotta know. You know well yeah but that's gated do you know what I mean and it says like doesn't say no trespassing but it's a locked gate you know yeah. what I'm saying so I'm not gonna go yeah. you know beyond that anyway you go ask permission um, as far as the skate park goes it definitely seems like getting there wicked early in the morning is definitely going to be the only time to go and I, I recognize that as a normal human being anyway so a normal human being <laughs> being uh yeah that's it so anyway this is rc guy garage and hopefully you enjoyed this uh public service announcement i guess you could call it of skate parks and rcers um 
Share the pox, be respectful on both ends. Skaters, share the pox with us, man, because just like you guys, we got no place to go. And, well, I can't say we got no place to go. It's different. It's just different. I don't know. Whatever. You just put a, put a thing in the comments. What do you guys think? Am I an idiot? Did I handle it the right way? Just, I don't know. <sighs> Above all, just share this stinking planet, man. All right. I see Gagabrajo.